want to find you somebody who's compatible with you and who's hopefully the love of your life and um, and yeah, and you can be together forever. That's what we want, right? So the more you think about what you want, what you need, and what are your needs, and what you want to expect from that woman, or for example, having a family, uh, and the clearer you can communicate that to your translator and at the at the table, the easier and the better it will be for you to find the match because you have only ten minutes at per table. And you will hate me tonight because I always say, guys, it's time to move to the next table, and then I know Maria again. So 10 minutes are running quickly and you have six women at the table probably, five, six women per table, so 10 minutes is not a lot, you have two minutes per woman. That is the complaint. The complaint of you guys is always, it's not enough time and it's too many women. So that's why we try to be early at the, or in, uh, early at the social, that's why we're there at 6.15, because you will be meeting your translator, usually you need 15 minutes with the translator, you can take longer, if you need longer, no problem. And then you can start mingling if you want already around 6.30 because the women are arriving at 4.30 already, 4.30, 5 o'clock. We tell them 4.30 to be there 6.30. Um, but, but some are very punctual. The rain almost always slows down the women. Um, we hate it when it rains on a social night, so it'll probably be a slower start tonight, but it'll still trickle in, so, um, but that's just how it is in Columbia, like you talked about. And you missed the uh, the orientation, but, okay, you know what time means here, which is absolutely nothing. It's only telling them the social starts at four. Usually they get there by seven or eight, so uh, keep that in mind. And don't skip socials if you can. We talked about that at the orientation, but no, we talked about it. I think, but maybe not. No. Yeah, we. we did we talk about it? Oh, we talked about it. Okay, I thought we were talking to somebody about it. But um, yeah, we got a guy right now running around. James like, I don't need the social. I'm not going to the social. See, I told you it was going to happen. Okay, tonight we are with Angel. Hi, Angel, how are you? I'm doing great, yourself? I'm great, thank you for us. So, Angel, tell us a little bit about your experience so far here in Colombia and here during the social. Um, so far, it's been a wonderful experience um, from the beginning till now. You know, it's, it's very, you feel very comfortable. You feel like you're being taken care of very well. Everything is very well coordinated and um, it's been just great. Okay, and this is your first social? First social, yes. Okay, that is great. And why? Why you pick Colombia? Um, why you decide to take that escape and I, uh, came? I picked Colombia. I, I just watched a lot of the videos and did my little homework and just chose Cartagena. I figured it'd be the best spot. It was vibing and it hasn't failed me yet. It's been great. That is great. And for example, this is the second uh, so, uh, social night. And how was your first night yesterday? The first night was something I've never experienced before and it was a great experience. It was awesome. I communicated well with everybody. My translator was awesome. All the girls were great. They asked great questions. They answered the questions and it was just an amazing night. I noticed that you speak Spanish. You think that that makes things easier for you? Definitely. It, it was a <laughs> easier way to communicate with some of the, I think, the ladies help them feel a little more better and it was awesome. More comfortable also. Well, yes, absolutely, yes. Yes, and also most of the girls here, there are a couple of them that speak uh, English, but uh, most of the girls, of course, here in Colombia, we speak Spanish, so that makes things easier and it's a little bit advantage for yeah. you. For me it is, yeah, but <laughs> it works both ways because, you know, if they're speaking English and maybe they don't have somebody to speak English with and they're practicing, it, it shows that they're putting in an effort to learn and that I don't have a problem with that. That's great. Okay, and this is your first time in Colombia? Yes. Okay, and what do you think about Colombian girls? It's beautiful. It's just like I'm from Puerto Rico and I love Puerto Rico and I just feel at home. Everything here makes you feel at home. You think that Colombian girls are Puerto Rican girls are similar? 
No. no. Colombia is Colombia, and you know, I'm not saying which one's better or worse, but so far from my experience, it's just great, wonderful. That's great. That is great. And um, Angel, one advice that you can give to the clients that want to come to Colombia for the first time? Just do it. Absolutely do it. Um, watch the videos. I watch them over and over. Take notes and just um, be prepared to just try everything new. Just give it a chance. Don't, don't set yourself up to fail. Just come and do it and you're going to have a great time. And also, one thing that it's important is listen to the staff, right? Absolutely. They know what they're doing. That listen to their advice because they've been doing this for years, and they're right. They know what they're doing. <laughs> that is great. So, Angel, I hope that you find a nice girl tonight or yesterday. I hope that you find it. And uh, I hope that your experience here uh, is going amazing. It is. Absolutely. It is. Very good. Okay, thank you so much for being tonight here with us. No problem. I definitely will come again. That is great. Thank you. You're very welcome. Relax, have fun, and just enjoy it. Get to know new people, new people, make new friends. Take advantage of it. Enjoy it. Um, and just have the time of your life, it'll be great. These guys will take good care of you.